Oh, you haven't your barista, huh? Okay. Well, <laughs> first of all, I want to show my plants. I buy like maybe 16 plants in the chos in the uh, plant sale last uh, weekend, and this is one of them. Look at how beautiful it is. I don't know what call it, what call, but look at this. Is this sweet? Was expensive, but for some reason, uh, it's unique. And this one too. You see this one? I don't remember the names, but anyway, look how beautiful it is. Doesn't grow bigger. This is the size of the leaves, and this is the size. So this one I put in a froggy, and this one I put in this blue pot, and uh, that's why I like plants. Uh, Planceo, you go there and you never know what you're gonna find. Is this cute? Look at this. Is this adorable? What? And this is my baby. And this one's too. Look at this. Happy can be. Happy, happy. I love the frog. I love the frog. I don't know why, but I do. I think that plant is meant to be in the frog. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about bromelias. Everybody loves bromelias. I know they're hard, I know they cut you, they come in here already, but that's why you need to wear gloves. I love these gloves. They don't, I feel like I don't have gloves on. Um, I got them, uh, uh, what, a Walmart. They feel like I don't have gloves, they have nice rubber in here, nice grip, and they are like expendable. They can spend, so I like them. So anyway, let's get to business, huh? Let's talk about bromelias. You show what we have, Lucas? Look at this. This is all my bromelias that I planned two years ago in my business. Okay? As you know, bromelias are very, very beautiful plants. But at one point in time, maybe every two years, maybe every year, I don't know. Depends how much time you have. They need to be clean. Okay? That's how it is. You cannot say, oh, I have bromelias. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of bromelias. And don't clean them. You gotta clean them. You gotta separate them. Uh, what you gotta do is get yourself. Uh, I usually use like my these clippers. I have scissors for the leaves. And I have my bread knife. Ooh, bread knife, yeah. Okay, so what you do, I really separate those. What you do, for example, this one, poor little thing, look at it. So what we do, we're gonna cut it in here in half, okay, first of all. And when you cut it, this is the mom. You see that? How I know this is the mom? Because it's dying. Bromelias only flower one time. And after they flower one time, they don't die, but they produce a lot of pups. A lot, of, a lot of pups, a lot of babies. This one, uh, you don't have to throw them out. So what you do when you separate them, you, you cannot pull them because sometimes you have, you have to have root. If you don't have root, the plant is most likely is not gonna make it. So when you cut it, you cut it like very close to the root and with the mom root like this. Like that. It's not coming out like that, so. Let's get this. <clears throat> okay, there you go. So, oh, geez. okay, this is the, the one that is supposed to be um, the pot. Because this one doesn't bloom yet. You can see when they don't bloom yet, you can see the bloom will be dry in there, will be da brown, dry, or the plant will be almost in the point to death. So what you do, you clean this one, Clean them up, real good. Okay, it's all good now. You see? So, this take this off. Okay? This one over here is the mom. And at this point, I'm not gonna keep it because it's in bad, bad shape. This done, this mama. Okay? So, we're not gonna keep her. We're gonna put it in the compost pile. Okay? And we're gonna save it. Okay? Let's move to the next one. This one, I love this one. This one, you see that? Already have a flower, and this is the mom. But the mom is in good shape, real good shape. And actually, she has few babies coming up. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when I separate it, okay? So what I'm gonna do, you see this? 
She has a baby here, she has a baby here, and she has a baby here. She has all kinds of babies. So in this point, at this point, I'm gonna separate it over here. This one, I just leave it like this. Why? Because this is ready to separate it. When they're one third the size of the mama, you can separate them, okay? And this is good to separate it, clean a little bit. So this is good. And then this one's over here, this one over here, you don't need to do nothing, okay? You don't need to do nothing, and you don't need to disturb the babies. These babies are, uh, she, has, she has a lot of pups, she already bloomed, so we gotta, we gotta take care of the pups. So this was popping here and popping here and here and here, might be coming one, and I know this one already bloomed. So this one, the only thing you will keep this one to reproduce babies. If you don't want more babies and then give it to your friends, uh, give it to me, I'd be happy to take them. <laughs> I don't want not, not to throw away. So this is gonna go in a separate pile because this is a, a family plan. Okay? Um, this one is a single one. So this one looks okay. So we just go like this. And this one already bloomed too. So it's a beautiful pink bloom. So we just gonna go ahead and leave it here. This one has a, has a little pop there and already bloomed too. So I'm not gonna throw any of these away because I like bromelia. I don't sell bromelias, okay? I just keep them for uh, myself, for decoration, because I think they are beautiful and they're easy to care for. So this one, we're just gonna put it here. It's a, it's a mama, it's gonna produce babies, but I don't wanna throw it away. So this one over here, you see? Which one you think is the mom, Lucas? Um, no. That, no, that one. Yep. Yeah. Ah, Lucas, that one, because it's the one that beat up and everything. So what we do, we're gonna see what's going on here. First of all, clean this and cut this baby. Okay. And we're gonna cut this a little bit over here to make it shorter. Okay. So this, this one is the mama. So what I'm gonna do with the mama, I'm gonna clean it, and guess what? I'm gonna keep it, because it's not that bad. I'm gonna keep and take care of it, and she will produce more uh, pops. It's not bad. That's it. Sometimes I get stuff inside, so it's already cut in here and everything. I mean, why throw it? It's not that. So I'm keeping it. She already bloomed. She already bloomed, so I got some stuff in there. Come on. Okay, now. That's why it's important to wear gloves, though. We're not going to throw it away. We're going to keep it for pops, okay? This is the pop for that one, okay? So this, you can see the bloom is coming up there. You see this one, when this bloom, that's it. It's a beautiful bloom. So, but still, we need to clean it a little bit. Okay, so clean a little bit. Shake it, make sure the, um, it's all, all the leaves and everything is out. These plants are very, very, very easy to care for. It's the same family as the pineapples and also their plants. They do not like to be buried in the soil. This is that you can leave it there. Why? Because um, you can leave it there because they need moisture. Okay, this is okay. All these are clean. So let's see this one over here. This one is already uh, bloom. How I know? Because it's a pop. They don't have a pop as they bloom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let, take her, let her take care of her baby by just cleaning a little bit and putting it back somewhere. Okay, so there you go, that's there. All, everything, like this one over here looks very, very dehydrated, but there's nothing wrong with the plant. I'm gonna leave this stuff over here. There's nothing wrong with the plant. It just uh, was not getting enough water. So I'm gonna plant it. I leave this in here for moisture, to hold moisture in there. Look at this. This one is so cute. Look at this plant. All I need is, they were not getting enough water. That's why you have to clean. This is the, the, the main one. 
and has two pups. Uh, it is in this, okay? So they are not big enough to remove from the mama. So I had to leave in there, okay? And this is this is part of the palm. They were attached to the palm. So I'll leave it like this, okay? And I'm gonna plant it when they're big, I can take them out. In the meantime, they have to stay there. So let's talk about here is one more. This one, this one is nothing wrong with this one also. Except neglected, it was neglected by me. I'm so sorry, plant, forgive me. But yeah, it was neglected, it was not getting enough water. So you put it there. This one over here already died. So you had two little babies ready. So you clean them a little bit, not too much. Take some leaves, you know, like this. They're ready. So they are ready to be planted. That's how you clean it. I gotta clean all this. It's gonna be a fun, fun day for me. But anyway, I figure I'm cleaning them, might as well show you what I'm doing. And I do have a little knowledge about this, thanks to my friend Steve in Fort Myers, Florida. He um, belongs to the Bromelia Society in Fort Myers. Thanks to him, I know a little bit. So there you go. This is, this is not, don't bloom yet or anything. To, this one is a different place to plant it. This one is a big baby. This one is a, this one is big. But I gotta tell you something about these plants. Uh, here is having a baby too. So this, I'm gonna leave it here because this is bark and stuff like that. Okay? I'm gonna leave it here to hold moisture. But what I was going to show you is something over here. Come this way, Luca. Be careful. Come this way. I'm going to show you something. This, this one over here, I put it here maybe a year ago. Uh, has, uh, has one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, six uh, pups. And it's in, in plain sun. You see that? The sun. Doesn't have nothing here, hardly anything, any uh, moss and a little bit of, a little bit of soil. And that's why I just sit it on top, I attach it to the tree, and look how beautiful it is. And it's facing the sky and there's no no roof. So as long as you put them put them facing up, the night the night humidity. Oh I just find the mama. This is the mama. The mama is done. So that's good. Um, the mom is done. So I just pick him up. And this poor little thing over here, you see this? I'm looking for a place. So I figure if I put her here, if I put her here with these plants upright, these plants will help her. Because it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful color. And these plants will help her. As long as they're right, and that way they where rains will get water. So there you go. So I just found here a house. So bromelias don't need any soil, okay? As long as you put it upright, attaching to the tree, attaching to the palm, attaching to the wall, but they have to be in a place where it's raining, where it's raining for sure. If you put it under the eave of the house, it's not gonna work because it's not, they don't reach the rain. But over here, let me show you something. Uh, right over here, uh, I'm gonna show you something very, very important, okay? I have a lot of these baskets over here, and I save them. This rusty basket, people don't want them. What do they do with? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with these baskets. Like this basket over here, okay? This basket over here, this is what you can do. Get this bromelia, this one. And uh, get this one. Um, okay. I'm gonna put it down here. We're gonna make something with a lot of color, okay? Get this one. And I need this one. Like that. You see that? And then I need something different. Something else different. Okay, I get this one. You see this? So I have few, few bromelias, okay? few colors, okay? See, like this. So, all you gotta do is this. 
Watch. You get a little piece of wire, like that. This wire over here. Put it up. And I do this many, many times and works for me. So what you do, you tie it like that. Okay, oops. <coughs> like that. And this is all you need. You got, that way, when you put them, whatever you want to put them, they're going to be a ripe. Face it all right, see? You're not hurting them. They will, uh, eventually this wire will rust. And by the time the wire rusts, they are uh, together and they grab good, whatever you put them. So, like the ones I just show you. So this is said, okay? So this, like that, I just put it over here. Just like that. Like that. Okay? And then, just like that. And you can put it like this. You can put a tray. You can do many, many things with the spin. Um, you can put it like that. Okay? And there it goes. One. So, that be okay. Like that. If you want to have more moisture for the plants, what you can do, I, uh, I asked my husband to buy me some cocoa liners, the long ones, the bigger ones, because it's cheaper. So what you do, do you have a wire basket like this? Just like this, okay? Um, what do you do with a basket like that? Organizer maybe? So, got a liner, put it there. And what I'm what using for is uh, desert rose mix. Do you use the desert rose mix? Because remember, these plants can live without soil. If you plant them in the regular soil, you're not going to have any pups. You're not going to have pups. They don't like it. They like to breathe the roots. So what you do, see this little soil over here? So what you do, this is clean. You get this one, you put it here. And then um, get this beautiful color over here. Put it here. And you fill this little basket, basket with the colors. And that way, this one's a little too big. Yeah. This is not ready. Yeah. Yeah. Some, uh, some color over here, you see? Put it like that. See? There are, these ones is not gonna go bigger, bigger than that, so. You just see them in top, okay? You don't, uh, don't put any, um, this one over here is already have, already has some um, a flower, so, but I'm gonna keep it because it's gonna produce all kind of pups, okay? So, this is a little, a little, So what do you do? It's my cut is for me. So it's too long. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit, just like that. Okay. And I can see already have a flower here. Okay. So put it in here in the center. That's why it's important to wear gloves. I need some color. So some more color. So this one looks good. So we put this one over here, and there you have, there you have a basket full of uh, bromelias, okay? Full of bromelias, and you can put it anywhere. All you gotta do is, once in a while, all you gotta do to the bromelias is this. Oh, oh I didn't open the water, of course. I need to open the water. Okay, so all you do is make sure they're all upright and you just put a little water, just like that. And then you have a beautiful arrangement full of flowers, okay? And there it is, okay? You can put it in under the tree outside, you can put it by the eaves, and you uh, water it once in a while. 
Okay? You see how beautiful they are? But you need color, you need combination to look nice. Okay, over here, over here I have this rock. Okay? I think it was a wine rock, maybe something like that. Mm, wine bar, I don't know. I don't know. The boy, nobody wants it. Okay? So, I have this little pot. Okay? But remember, bromelians don't like to be buried. So, all I'm going to put the soil like that for moisture. That's it. For moisture. I'm using the desert rose mix. There is not going to interfere. So, this one's over here. I already tied them up, okay? This one's over, this one's over here. If I want, let me show you, excuse me. If I decide to tie them, I can tie them right here, okay? As long as they're upright, as long as they're upright, they will leave and will be beautiful in there. I don't have to do nothing else than that, okay? Or if I want, I can place them just like this over here. And there you have uh, other arrangement, okay? And there it is. That's how it is uh, to uh, to care for Romilias. I had this chicken wire basket for years. Poor little thing has been everywhere. So I put the um, I put the liner here. You see that? The liner, and I put a little bit of desert rose mix, the pine bark, and that. So I can just go ahead and fill this basket with babies like that. Okay, and um, just fill them out with babies. Bunch of little babies there. Look at me, beautiful. Mix colors. And uh, other thing you need to make sure is that when you're doing this, you are uh, putting, make sure they are right. Okay, whatever you do, you make sure the basket is gonna be up. And then you have to try to uh, combine the colors too. You see? And uh, let's see what else I have here. I have this beautiful one over here. I'll put it right there. Oops. Hold on a second, Lucas. I get one more. And then uh, I have this green one, this beautiful green over here. I just stick it right over there. And. Um, I have this one over here with a little color, like zebra, and there it is, I put my basket to use, I put my basket to use, okay, so if you have any questions about bromelias or uh, anything, I don't know everything, but I think I know a little bit, <laughs> you see that, don't ever bury them, just put it like that, like that, and they're happy can be, until next time, from Maria's Garden.